Hello everyone, welcome back to the course. And in this video, we are going to talk about what are the callbacks in the JavaScript. Callbacks are also an important concept that you will be seeing here and there in the Lightning Web Components where you have used callbacks. Mostly whenever you are trying to use any other external library like AWS or jQuery or some sort of other JavaScript SDK for the other system that you wanted to consume inside your Lightning Web. Callback functions are nothing. These are the past. Uh, these are passed as an argument inside the main functions, and then from the main functions we call them later on whenever we want based on either synchronous or asynchronous. For example, if you see here, there is a method called callback teaser, and this method contains two parameters. But one is callback, and another one is the parameter. Then we have got two console. One is console log for callback function starting. And then callback function complete. In the middle, if you see, there is something called callback, and then we are passing the parameter. So, this callback is nothing basically, this is going to be your function which will be executed once you want it to have, or based on the statements where you have put that execute. And then this is basically our function which is saying that console my details. This is again having one parameter which can be a param or a person, it can be anything. The name of the parameter can be anything that you want. Then we say that if person, that means if there is something inside the person, then do the console log with the help of a string interpolation. So that hi, my name is whatever the person dot name, then I am a whatever the person dot job, and then and super excited about whatever the hobby is. So basically, if you see here. This is basically nothing, it is going to be the type of object. That is why we are using a person, a variable name, and then whatever the key, what, whatever the property of that object is. And then at the end, what we have is we have a callback teaser. This is what we are calling. Console my details is going to be your function. This is going to be your callback function. And this is the param parameter, which is your object. Thing name is Amit, job is developer, and hobby is learn lightning web component. Okay, so this is the simple explanation of your callbacks. There can be multiple things that you have inside your callback. So let's quickly see basically how this works, and then we'll also talk about a new concept called callback hell. So this is the same code that we have talked into the PP. Every single thing is there, right? Okay, now hit enter. So we got calling the callback function. Hi, my name is Amit. I'm a developer and super excited about learning Lightning Web Components. So whatever the value I'm passing from here, those values are getting printed over here in our callback function. Now consider a scenario. Suppose that there are three things, right? You are working for a shopping cart application where you have on the top you are uh, displaying the products, then you are displaying the customer reviews, then you are displaying the product details or any other detail or say that product pricing detail. Creating that customer review component is taking five seconds. If the second statement is taking five seconds, all the other elements or we say that all the other statements have to wait for minimum five seconds because this this is where this is the synchronous execution and this is going to wait up to when that particular function has been executed. That means five seconds or 10 seconds. And if you are in a web application that might halt the page execution or that might prevent that half of the page has been loaded and now this because of this function that page is not being loaded so as a best practice what usually we do is we kind of modify this callback param and then put inside the set timeout method with that set timeout as we know set timeout takes one parameter which is a callback function so we'll say that okay sorry we'll just have over here this is the set timeout going to have our callback function and then we'll say that okay wait for 2000 milliseconds and then execute this callback param okay now we hit enter and it is waiting now you see here the execution is like the first statement and last statements are done first and then that third uh, second statement is being executed after 2 milli uh, 2 seconds basically 2000 milliseconds so this is how you can have this 
set timeout you can use that set timeout inside your functions as well function callback as well now we have talked about one uh, callback function right we say that callback hell so what that callback hell is basically you have you are calling this callback from here and suppose that there is one more callback that you are calling from here okay suppose that uh, there is something called uh, there is a new callback so that a uh, callback okay then you have got one more function over here so that second function now from this callback parameter basically you are passing that second function this callback is being executed so you can have say that okay i have got this callback and we are calling that again over here so we hit enter so we get that two elements then we got second function as well so basically this is the only two two step right we have got one callback from here then second callback from here we could have another callback from over here say that let's quickly have one more callback which is going to be have the third callback okay so we say that instead of second we can have third and we say that it is taking one more parameter which is callback and it is calling that callback from here so this is a callback function and then we are calling this callback from here and then we hit enter if we hit enter you will you will wait for that time second function is there and then third function is also there so what happens basically it is going to change the function like from one function to another function and if we have uh, let's say the 10 or 12 or 15 functions right 20 functions it is going to create a chain like this we can say that it is going to say that if this is the one if this is success then another step, uh, if is there inside basically that is what it is going to look like and then you have multiple if over there right so basically it is going to create a complete chain for you and that is uh, the this problem is basically known as callback hell and to resolve this we have got a new concept called async await async await is basically async is a function await is a keyword that we are going to talk in the coming videos and before we talk about async await we'll mainly talk about our uh, classes how the classes works in the javascript how the inheritance works with the javascript what are the various ways to declare the classes all kind of things we are going to work into the next video so this is it for this uh, video talking about the callbacks so the callbacks what is a callback hell and uh, we'll meet you into the next video where we are going to talk about the classes in the javascript thank you